Okay, so now we are going to work the lighting and bender settings of the kitchen. So, for basic environment lighting, you first bring in the sun. Uh, so then bring in a sun and angle it so that the lights are the same as in the reference here. So as you can see, the light is coming through the doorway onto the counter. And since we have our block out here, we just need to bring our sun at the back here and rotate it. For me, I was on the X angle, sun will be on the Y. I wrote it on the X angle until you get this nice uh, light coming through the doorway. And now that we have our light set up, we can move on to the render settings. As you can see in the shadows here, they are a bit soft and wiggly uh, in our render. But in the reference, they are actually pretty hard edged. So we're going to go to the render settings here. It's the camera icon here. And then we scroll down to shadows. What we want to do is the second drop down menu, we are going to set to the highest possible. So if your computer can handle this, it's, you can set it to the highest shadow depth. It's not very hard on your computer. It's just that sometimes it bogs your computer down if you have too many objects in your scene. So if you know your computer can't handle very detailed shadows, then maybe keep the setting off until you render it. So that if just before you render, you switch this to the highest setting and then you render it so you can always have that, those good shadows. But this top one here, the first drop down menu, uh, most of the time you want to keep it below a thousand. As you can see there are a bit light leaks here in the corners because of the sun and the world view. Uh, AV sometimes does this. So to fix it you just put a solidify modifier on the room and set the offset to one and play with it until there are no more light leaks. There we go. We can also move up to the bloom, uh, to the bloom settings. You can obviously change this uh, to whatever you like at the end or in the middle or whatever uh, but I would like I like a bit of bloom in the render just because it makes it look a bit more stylized so then I bring the threshold a bit downer and the radius I also bring a bit downer I don't want it to go everywhere but I want it to glow a bit and I also bring intensity a bit up depending on the color scheme of your render you would also kind of change the bloom just a little bit like uh, this render is going to be a bit blue Maybe later, not now. And we can actually make the sun even brighter here because as you can see in the reference, uh, the light coming through the door is very bright. So we just bring that up a bit until you get this nice glow effect. There we go. All right, so we have our render settings and our lighting set up. Now we can move on to actually putting our models in the scene. I won't actually be showing exactly how I modeled everything because that'll just make everything too long. So that's why I made the um, modeling tips the first episode so that you can model the objects yourself and maybe use the techniques that I showed. Um, now I will just show how the scene will be set up. So here we have, we see the scene actually set up here. This is maybe after an hour or two of work. Uh, I modeled everything and I brought it into the scene. And as you can see, I place it as close as possible to the reference. I didn't add as many things to the render as the reference, uh, mostly because I was lazy. But also, then it wouldn't be too many things, too many things to teach and too many things to render. Another, we have a scene setup. We can work on the shading in the next tutorial. Alright, boy.